This is the Innocent Gun Blonde, and I didn't. I don't even see that on Beer Advocate. I'm thinking this might be a new beer altogether, like um, really new. And I guess essentially what this is is um, their version of a light beer, like light for Innocent Gun, at least. Okay, because as it says, it's a lightly oaked beer. So they're not giving it the full treatment they give the regular beers. And if you're not familiar with Innocent Gun, they age their beers in both um, oak whiskey casks and also for some limited edition beers like rum casks, okay? So essentially what you're getting is you're getting a lot of flavors you would generally get from whiskeys mixed with beers. And this, I guess, is their light attempt at that and the ABV is six six percent and actually that is fairly light for Innocent Gun. Most of their beers uh, I think their standard beer like just the regular Innocent Gun is six point six percent or something around that and let's see what it says on the back here uh, American Oak is seamed with flavor which Innocent Gun unlocks using a unique style of maturation that imparts a light vanilla oak character to this fruity blonde beer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we're expecting sort of the same flavors you might get from their other beers, but perhaps not as pronounced. So I'm going to pour this and we'll come right back and see what we think. And of course, Innocent Gun, all their beers are in clear bottles, which something I don't favor but uh, I haven't had a bad Innocent Gun beer yet so uh, I won't hold that against them so here we have it's definitely a blonde um, sort of a dark golden straw color basically an amber okay so basically an amber and that's what you're looking for in a blonde basically sort of that color uh, the head is sort of a British style um, sort of a you know very thin but uh, it looks like it's gonna cap and leave lacing um, and of course Innocent Gun is from uh, I believe it's Edinburgh Scotland fruity Scottish beer with refreshing hints of vanilla and oak Edinburgh yeah oh yeah and they mature these ones for 37 days I think the regular Innocent Gun is matured for what was it 47 or 70 something it's it's matured longer than this one anyway in the actual oak casks so uh, I guess that's the idea is that you're gonna get less of the oak cask flavor in this beer so we'll go right to the aroma there's a slight skunkiness to the aroma so I'm thinking maybe it got lit sort of slightly light struck almost um, almost kind of a vinegar smell I'm, I'm really hoping I didn't get a bad bottle here but the aroma so far isn't too inviting ah okay as I sniff deeper at it I'm getting um, the sort of uh, the whiskey smell okay so the oak sort of oakish uh, uh, barrel smell that you get with whiskeys, right? And also get a small hint of vanilla, very, very small. Uh, so, uh, so far they're on par with what they're trying for here. Um, it has the same sort of whiskey aroma, whiskey cask aroma, um, with the vanilla, the oak, so the woody vanilla kind of smell, but it's not as strong as in the regular Innocent Gun beer. Uh, so I think that's what they were looking for and if that is what they're looking for they hit it. Uh, so we're gonna go right to the taste now and see how that goes. Ah, again, the um... Wow! The whiskey flavor on this one is definitely more oaky than I was expecting. Um, but it is not as uh, it's not as sharp as in the regular Innocent Gun, but it basically has the same flavor profile. You start off with the uh, the really oaky um, sort of taste, 
uh, and it sort of drifts into a bit of a vanilla. Uh, not really much in the way of hops or anything like that at the end. Um, I'll get, take another draw on this, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely not as sharp. Um, and I guess so. I guess they've hit the mark. This is basically a light version of the regular Innocent Gun. Okay. Uh, it has muted flavors. This would be, I think, uh, a perfect introduction into Innocent Gun. Like, if you take the regular Innocent Gun beer and you're not used to craft beers, um, you're just sort of, you know, taking little baby steps here and there. Uh, Innocent Gun would be one of those beers, like the regular Innocent Gun, it would be one of those beers that would th probably throw you off quite a bit. It would, might even make you just turn away from trying uh, craft beers altogether. Because uh, the regular Innocent Gun does have, I wouldn't say they're harsh flavors, but they're not flavors uh, an unseasoned beer drinker would be used to. Um, and especially someone who had never had whiskey before. But this, this sort of smoothly sort of slides you right into the flavor, okay? It just gives you hints of that, that oak barrel taste. Uh, the hints of vanilla. It doesn't come over and slap you in the face with it as much as the regular Innocent Gun does. And so, I gotta say, uh, good job, Innocent Gun. This is definitely a perfect introduction beer uh, to their lineup. Uh, it gives you a little hint of what's to come as you try their other beers. And I gotta say, thumbs up. It just aside from that aspect of it it's just a damn good beer all by itself it's got a very nice flavor um, it's very smooth going down there is a slight cr hoppy crispness to it but not much um, it's be it's really nice um, I think my favorite instant gun beer is still the rum cask version and I take the regular innocent gun over this one any day but that's just me personally but this is a really good beer uh